One. Families and friends. Family. Grandmother. Grandfather. Brother. Father. Mother. Sister. Friend. Family. Grandmother. Grandfather. Brother. Father. Mother. Sister. Friend. Read. Families and friends. Families. We live in families. People in families help each other. They love each other, too. Not all families are the same. There are many kinds of families. Meet Seb. He's seven years old. Seb's family is big. He lives with his mother, father, three brothers, and two sisters. We work together. This is Mandy. She's eight years old. She has one brother. They live with their grandmother and grandfather. This is Kim. She's six years old. Her family is small. She lives with her mother. We spend time together. Which family is like your family? Friends. Friends are also important. Friends have fun together, and they help each other, too. Seb? Mandy and Kim are good friends. They go to school together. They play together every day. We share things. Who are your good friends? Families and Friends Family Grandmother Grandfather Brother Father Mother Sister Friend Family Grandmother Grandfather, brother, father, mother, sister, friend. Read Families and Friends. Families. We live in families. People in families help each other. They love each other, too. Not all families are the same. There are many kinds of families. Meet Seb. He's seven years old. Seb's family is big. He lives with his mother, father, three brothers, and two sisters. We work together. This is Mandy. She's eight years old. She has one brother. They live with their grandmother and grandfather. This is Kim. She's six years old. Her family is small. She lives with her mother. We spend time together. Which family is like your family? Friends. Friends are also important. Friends have fun together, and they help each other, too. Seb, Mandy, and Kim are good friends. They go to school together. 
They play together every day. We share things. Who are your good friends? Families and friends. Family. Grandmother. Grandfather. Brother. Father. Mother. Sister. Friend. Family. Grandmother. Grandfather. Brother. Father. Mother. Sister. Friend. Read. Families and friends. Families. We live in families. People in families help each other. They love each other, too. Not all families are the same. There are many kinds of families. Meet Seb. He's seven years old. Seb's family is big. He lives with his mother, father, three brothers, and two sisters. We work together. This is Mandy. She's eight years old. She has one brother. They live with their grandmother and grandfather. This is Kim. She's six years old. Her family is small. She lives with her mother. We spend time together. Which family is like your family? Friends. Friends are also important. Friends have fun together, and they help each other, too. Seb, Mandy, and Kim are good friends. They go to school together. They play together every day. We share things. Who are your good friends? Two. Sarah's favorite hobby is reading. She enjoys reading books when she is free. She started to do it when she was five years old. The first time she did it, she felt interested. The teachers always taught her to read difficult words. She was happy when she read a story with a happy ending. She was thrilled when she read a detective story. She enjoys reading because she likes to explore the imaginative world of her favorite author. There are a lot of advantages to reading. Reading can make her relaxed and calm. She can also learn new vocabulary items. Then, she can further improve her English. Moreover, it can give her an unlimited imagination so she can write books in the future. She can learn the different culture and customs of other countries in the world, too. She reads at least one hour every day. She reads books by herself at home. She wished she could read different kinds of books because it might be very challenging. Repeat after me. Sarah's favorite hobby is reading. Sarah's favorite hobby is reading.
She enjoys reading books when she is free. She enjoys reading books when she is free. She started to do it when she was five years old. She started to do it when she was five years old. The first time she did it, she felt interested. The first time she did it, she felt interested. The teachers always taught her to read difficult words. The teachers always taught her to read difficult words. She was happy when she read a story with a happy ending. She was happy when she read a story with a happy ending. She was thrilled when she read a detective story. She was thrilled when she read a detective story. She enjoys reading because she likes to explore. The imaginative world of her favorite author. She enjoys reading because she likes to explore. The imaginative world of her favorite author. There are a lot of advantages to reading. There are a lot of advantages to reading. Reading can make her relaxed and calm. Reading can make her relaxed and calm. She can also learn new vocabulary items. She can also learn new vocabulary items. Then she can further improve her English. Then she can further improve her English. Moreover, it can give her an unlimited imagination. So she can write books in the future. Moreover, it can give her an unlimited imagination. So she can write books in the future. She can learn the different culture and customs. Of other countries in the world too. She can learn the different culture and customs. Of other countries in the world too.
She reads at least one hour every day. She reads at least one hour every day. She reads books by herself at home. She reads books by herself at home. She wish she could read different kinds of books. Because it might be very challenging. She wish she could read different kinds of books. Because it might be very challenging. Sarah's favorite hobby is reading. She enjoys reading books when she is free. She started to do it when she was five years old. The first time she did it, she felt interested. The teachers always taught her to read difficult words. She was happy when she read a story with a happy ending. She was thrilled when she read a detective story. She enjoys reading because she likes to explore the imaginative world of her favorite author. There are a lot of advantages to reading. Reading can make her relaxed and calm. She can also learn new vocabulary items. Then, she can further improve her English. Moreover, it can give her an unlimited imagination so she can write books in the future. She can learn the different culture and customs of other countries in the world too. She reads at least one hour every day. She reads books by herself at home. She wish she could read different kinds of books because it might be very challenging. Repeat after me. Sarah's favorite hobby is reading. Sarah's favorite hobby is reading. She enjoys reading books when she is free. She enjoys reading books when she is free. She started to do it when she was five years old. She started to do it when she was five years old. The first time she did it, she felt interested. The first time she did it, she felt interested. The teachers always taught her to read difficult words. The teachers always taught her to read difficult words. She was happy when she read a story with a happy ending. She was happy when she read a story with a happy ending.
She was thrilled when she read a detective story. She was thrilled when she read a detective story. She enjoys reading because she likes to explore. The imaginative world of her favorite author. She enjoys reading because she likes to explore. The imaginative world of her favorite author. There are a lot of advantages to reading. There are a lot of advantages to reading. Reading can make her relaxed and calm. Reading can make her relaxed and calm. She can also learn new vocabulary items. She can also learn new vocabulary items. Then she can further improve her English. Then, she can further improve her English. Moreover, it can give her an unlimited imagination. So she can write books in the future. Moreover, it can give her an unlimited imagination. So she can write books in the future. She can learn the different culture and customs. Of other countries in the world too. She can learn the different culture and customs. Of other countries in the world too. She reads at least one hour every day. She reads at least one hour every day. She reads books by herself at home. She reads books by herself at home. She wish she could read different kinds of books. Because it might be very challenging. She wish she could read different kinds of books. Because it might be very challenging. Three. A great vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. I spent eight days in Paris, France. 
My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. My favorite was a well-known museum. I was always interested in art, so that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge, you could spend weeks there. Repeat after me. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. I spent eight days in Paris, France. I spent eight days in Paris, France. I spent eight days in Paris, France. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. We visited many famous tourist places. We visited many famous tourist places. My favorite was a well-known museum. My favorite was a well-known museum. My favorite was a well-known museum.
I was always interested in art. I was always interested in art. I was always interested in art. So that was a special treat for me. So that was a special treat for me. So that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge. The museum is so huge. The museum is so huge. You could spend weeks there. You could spend weeks there. You could spend weeks there. A great vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. I spent eight days in Paris, France. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. My favorite was a well-known museum. I was always interested in art, so that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge, you could spend weeks there. Repeat after me. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. I just returned from the greatest summer vacation. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. It was so fantastic, I never wanted it to end. I spent eight days in Paris, France. I spent eight days in Paris, France. I spent eight days in Paris, France. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. My best friends, Henry and Steve, went with me. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive.
We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a beautiful hotel room in the Latin Quarter, and it wasn't even expensive. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We had a balcony with a wonderful view. We visited many famous tourist places. We visited many famous tourist places. We visited many famous tourist places. My favorite was a well-known museum. My favorite was a well-known museum. My favorite was a well-known museum. I was always interested in art. I was always interested in art. I was always interested in art. So that was a special treat for me. So that was a special treat for me. So that was a special treat for me. The museum is so huge. The museum is so huge. The museum is so huge. You could spend weeks there. You could spend weeks there. You could spend weeks there. Four. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor, and they didn't buy medicine from the drugstore. Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. When you have sleep problems, don't eat dinner late at night. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat raw onions to help you sleep. When your ear hurts, cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put warm oil in your ear. When you have a headache, don't eat very cold food like ice cream. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. When you have stomach problems, eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. 
Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Reduce alcohol and coffee. Repeat after me. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. And they didn't buy medicine from the drugstore. 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 Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. When you have sleep problems, 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 don't eat dinner late at night. 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 Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm.
Eat raw onions to help you sleep. 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 When your ear hurts. When your ear hurts. When your ear hurts. When your ear hurts. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put warm oil in your ear. 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 When you have a headache. 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 Don't eat very cold food like ice cream. 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 Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. When you have stomach problems. When you have stomach problems. When you have stomach problems. When 
when you have stomach problems. Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Reduce alcohol and coffee. Reduce alcohol and coffee. Reduce alcohol and coffee. Reduce alcohol and coffee. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor, and they didn't buy medicine from the drugstore. Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. When you have sleep problems, don't eat dinner late at night. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat raw onions to help you sleep. When your ear hurts, cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put warm oil in your ear. When you have a headache, don't eat very cold food like ice cream. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. When you have stomach problems, eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Reduce alcohol and coffee. Repeat after me. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. A long time ago, when people were sick, they didn't go to the doctor. And they didn't buy medicine from the drugstore. 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 Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Instead, they used home remedies. Medicine made from things people already have at home.
Instead, they used home remedies, medicine made from things people already have at home. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Today, many people like to use home remedies because they are cheap and easy to use. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. Here are some old home remedies from the United States. When you have sleep problems, 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 don't eat dinner late at night. 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 Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Have a small, light dinner early in the evening. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat lettuce for dinner. It helps you feel calm. Eat raw onions to help you sleep. 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 When your ear hurts. When your ear hurts. When your ear hurts. When your ear hurts. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Cook an onion and put the hot onion on your ear. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. 
Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put some salt in a bag, heat the bag, and put it on the side of your head. Put warm oil in your ear. 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 When you have a headache. 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 Don't eat very cold food like ice cream. 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 Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Lie down and close your eyes. Breathe calmly and don't think about anything. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. Put a hot cloth on your head above your eyes. When you have stomach problems. 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 Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Eat a lot of yogurt to help your stomach work better. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Drink tea made from ginger, peppermint, or chamomile plants. Reduce alcohol and coffee. 
Reduce alcohol and coffee. Reduce alcohol and coffee. Reduce alcohol and coffee. Five. Importance of English. English is a very important language because many countries in the world speak English. We all know that people everywhere have their own language, which is also called mother tongue. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born. We can also call it a regional language. We all know that today is the age of internet and if you look, there is a lot of information available on the internet in English language. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. In addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, we need to know English. Repeat after me. English is a very important language. English is a very important language. English is a very important language. Because many countries in the world speak English. Because many countries in the world speak English. Because many countries in the world speak English. We all know that people everywhere have their own language. We all know that people everywhere have their own language. We all know that people everywhere have their own language. Which is also called mother tongue. Which is also called mother tongue. Which is also called mother tongue. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born. We can also call it a regional language. We can also call it a regional language. We can also call it a regional language. We all know that today is the age of internet and if you look, we all know that today is the age of internet and if you look, We all know that today is the age of internet, and if you look, there is a lot of information available on the internet in English language. There is a lot of information available on the internet in English language.
there is a lot of information available on the internet in English language. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. In addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, in addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, in addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, We need to know English. We need to know English. We need to know English. Importance of English. English is a very important language, because many countries in the world speak English. We all know that people everywhere have their own language, which is also called mother tongue. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born. We can also call it a regional language. We all know that today is the age of internet, and if you look, there is a lot of information available on the internet in English language. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. In addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, we need to know English. Repeat after me. English is a very important language. English is a very important language. English is a very important language. Because many countries in the world speak English. Because many countries in the world speak English. Because many countries in the world speak English. We all know that people everywhere have their own language. We all know that people everywhere have their own language. We all know that people everywhere have their own language. Which is also called mother tongue. Which is also called mother tongue. Which is also called mother tongue. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born. The mother tongue is used by man to communicate with the people of the place where he was born.
we can also call it a regional language. We can also call it a regional language. We can also call it a regional language. We all know that today is the age of internet, and if you look, We all know that today is the age of internet, and if you look, we all know that today is the age of internet, and if you look, there is a lot of information available on the internet in English language. There is a lot of information available on the internet in English language. There is a lot of information available on the internet in English language. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. This simply means that we can read information on the internet only if we know English. In addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, in addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, in addition, if we want to talk to a foreigner on the internet, We need to know English. We need to know English. We need to know English. Six. If we would like to improve our English, one thing we can do is to build up our vocabulary. In order to do this, we have to practice a lot. There are many effective ways. First of all, we should read a lot. We can read short stories, comics, newspapers, magazines, etc., depending on our English level. As we read, we can try to guess the meanings of unknown words from the context of the sentence. If we cannot, then look up the definition in a dictionary. English to English dictionary should be our first choice and keep the translator as last. Try to be involved with the language as much as we can. Keep a vocabulary notebook and write down a few words each day. Keep in mind that we have to revise them regularly. In my opinion, to communicate with people, all we need is words. Even if we just say the words one after another, people most likely will understand what we mean, regardless of the order of the words and grammar. Repeat after me. If we would like to improve our English, one thing we can do is to build up our vocabulary.
If we would like to improve our English, one thing we can do is to build up our vocabulary. If we would like to improve our English, one thing we can do is to build up our vocabulary. In order to do this, we have to practice a lot. In order to do this, we have to practice a lot. In order to do this, we have to practice a lot. There are many effective ways. There are many effective ways. There are many effective ways. First of all, we should read a lot. First of all, we should read a lot. First of all, we should read a lot. We can read short stories, comics, newspapers, magazines, etc. Depending on our English level. We can read short stories, comics, newspapers, magazines, etc. Depending on our English level. We can read short stories, comics, newspapers, magazines, etc. Depending on our English level. As we read, we can try to guess the meanings of unknown words. From the context of the sentence. As we read, we can try to guess the meanings of unknown words. From the context of the sentence. As we read, we can try to guess the meanings of unknown words. From the context of the sentence. If we cannot, then look up the definition in a dictionary.
If we cannot, then look up the definition in a dictionary. If we cannot, then look up the definition in a dictionary. English to English Dictionary should be our first choice and keep the translator as last. English to English Dictionary should be our first choice and keep the translator as last. English to English Dictionary should be our first choice and keep the translator as last. Try to be involved with the language as much as we can. Try to be involved with the language as much as we can. Try to be involved with the language as much as we can. Keep a vocabulary notebook and write down a few words each day. Keep a vocabulary notebook and write down a few words each day. Keep a vocabulary notebook and write down a few words each day. Keep in mind that we have to revise them regularly. Keep in mind that we have to revise them regularly. Keep in mind that we have to revise them regularly. In my opinion, to communicate with people, all we need is words. In my opinion, to communicate with people, all we need is words. In my opinion, to communicate with people, all we need is words. Even if we just say the words one after another. People most likely will understand what we mean. Regardless of the order of the words and grammar.
even if we just say the words one after another. People most likely will understand what we mean. Regardless of the order of the words and grammar. Even if we just say the words one after another. People most likely will understand what we mean. Regardless of the order of the words and grammar. If we would like to improve our English, one thing we can do is to build up our vocabulary. If we would like to improve our English, one thing we can do is to build up our vocabulary. If we would like to improve our English, one thing we can do is to build up our vocabulary. In order to do this, we have to practice a lot. In order to do this, we have to practice a lot. In order to do this, we have to practice a lot. There are many effective ways. There are many effective ways. There are many effective ways. First of all, we should read a lot. First of all, we should read a lot. First of all, we should read a lot. We can read short stories, comics, newspapers, magazines, etc. Depending on our English level. We can read short stories, comics, newspapers, magazines, etc. Depending on our English level.
We can read short stories, comics, newspapers, magazines, etc. Depending on our English level. As we read, we can try to guess the meanings of unknown words. From the context of the sentence. As we read, we can try to guess the meanings of unknown words. From the context of the sentence. As we read, we can try to guess the meanings of unknown words. From the context of the sentence. If we cannot, then look up the definition in a dictionary. If we cannot, then look up the definition in a dictionary. If we cannot, then look up the definition in a dictionary. English to English Dictionary should be our first choice and keep the translator as last. English to English Dictionary should be our first choice and keep the translator as last. English to English Dictionary should be our first choice and keep the translator as last. Try to be involved with the language as much as we can. Try to be involved with the language as much as we can. Try to be involved with the language as much as we can. Keep a vocabulary notebook and write down a few words each day. Keep a vocabulary notebook and write down a few words each day. Keep a vocabulary notebook and write down a few words each day. Keep in mind that we have to revise them regularly.
Keep in mind that we have to revise them regularly. Keep in mind that we have to revise them regularly. In my opinion, to communicate with people, all we need is words. In my opinion, to communicate with people, all we need is words. In my opinion, to communicate with people, all we need is words. Even if we just say the words one after another. People most likely will understand what we mean. Regardless of the order of the words and grammar. Even if we just say the words one after another. People most likely will understand what we mean. Regardless of the order of the words and grammar. Even if we just say the words one after another. People most likely will understand what we mean. Regardless of the order of the words and grammar. Seven. My favorite sport. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. We play it on the basketball court at my school. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I love everything about basketball. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning.
I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. We play it on the basketball court at my school. We play it on the basketball court at my school. We play it on the basketball court at my school. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. My Favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I love everything about basketball. I love everything about basketball. I love everything about basketball. My favorite sport. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. We play it on the basketball court at my school. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I love everything about basketball. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I like many sports, 
but I like basketball the most. I like many sports, but I like basketball the most. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. I play basketball with my friends every Sunday morning. We play it on the basketball court at my school. We play it on the basketball court at my school. We play it on the basketball court at my school. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. I am good at dribbling and shooting the ball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. After school, I practice with my own basketball. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. I also enjoy watching basketball games on TV. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. My favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I love everything about basketball. I love everything about basketball. I love everything about basketball. Eight. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air, but it's very difficult. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. 
They are designing better planes all the time. Some planes can fly using biofuels, but many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. What do you think? A few planes are already powered by solar energy, but they don't have any space for passengers. Repeat after me. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air. Engineers are trying to make plane engines that don't pollute the air. But it's very difficult. But it's very difficult. But it's very difficult. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. They know that lighter planes with bigger wings use less fuel. They are designing better planes all the time. They are designing better planes all the time. They are designing better planes all the time. Some planes can fly using biofuels. Some planes can fly using biofuels. Some planes can fly using biofuels. But many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. But many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. But many people think it's wrong to grow plants for planes. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. They say that we need the land to grow food for people. What do you think?
What do you think? What do you think? A few planes are already powered by solar energy. A few planes are already powered by solar energy. A few planes are already powered by solar energy. But they don't have any space for passengers. But they don't have any space for passengers. But they don't have any space for passengers. Nine. Power of knowledge. Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is, is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown.
Power of Knowledge Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. Knowledge is the most substantial element in the world. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. There are some people only who understand how important knowledge is. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. Knowledge is like a bottomless ocean. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. The more you dive deep into it, the deeper it will appear to you. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. Thus, there are no limits in the world of knowledge. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. When you desire knowledge, you thirst for riches unknown. Ten. Student life. Student life is very important in one's life. This time can also be called the golden age because the future of a person depends on it. It is during this time that a person's character is formed. A child does not have much understanding in a small class, he is slowly learning worldliness. Student life is a time when there is no burden of human suffering. There is no burden on him, at this age, he only cares about himself. He also has plenty of time. In this time man gets to learn a lot. It is during this time that he learns the good and the bad. If the student gets a good guide during this time, then the future of the student becomes golden. But it is during this time that many students fall into bad habits and suffer the consequences. Repeat after me.
student life is very important in one's life. Student life is very important in one's life. Student life is very important in one's life. This time can also be called the golden age because the future of a person depends on it. This time can also be called the golden age because the future of a person depends on it. This time can also be called the golden age because the future of a person depends on it. It is during this time that a person's character is formed. It is during this time that a person's character is formed. It is during this time that a person's character is formed. A child does not have much understanding in a small class. A child does not have much understanding in a small class. A child does not have much understanding in a small class. He is slowly learning worldliness. He is slowly learning worldliness. He is slowly learning worldliness. Student life is a time when there is no burden of human suffering. Student life is a time when there is no burden of human suffering. Student life is a time when there is no burden of human suffering. There is no burden on him. There is no burden on him. There is no burden on him. At this age, he only cares about himself. At this age, he only cares about himself. At this age, he only cares about himself. He also has plenty of time. He also has plenty of time. He also has plenty of time.
In this time man gets to learn a lot. In this time man gets to learn a lot. In this time man gets to learn a lot. It is during this time that he learns the good and the bad. It is during this time that he learns the good and the bad. It is during this time that he learns the good and the bad. If the student gets a good guide during this time, then the future of the student becomes golden. If the student gets a good guide during this time, then the future of the student becomes golden. If the student gets a good guide during this time, then the future of the student becomes golden. But it is during this time that many students fall into bad habits and suffer the consequences. But it is during this time that many students fall into bad habits and suffer the consequences. But it is during this time that many students fall into bad habits and suffer the consequences.